hello guys welcome back to another video so in this uh, video we're going to look at nested if statements so we can have um, an if statement within an if statement right so we know that the if statement it checks first if this condition here is true if it is true then it comes in here and executes everything within the um, uh, if statements body everything within these two curly braces then if the condition is not true or if it's false it jumps and comes down to the else and then it executes everything within the curly braces so in this case we have this so it's a simple code um we our data type boolean you know a boolean uh, is a true or false um so I have hot as true, we have ice cubes as false, and we have rooibos as true. So in this case, let's see what happens here. If this statement is true, it will come into this, the body of this code, and check and basically execute everything, right? So since we have an if statement, an if statement within the body, it will check this statement as well to check if it is true. So now, if this is also true it will execute and print this let us drink some tequila <laughs> but if the statement is false it comes down to the else and prints out this there is no ice cubes basically then again if we start all over and we check the statement is true and then this here is true then it will print this out you see but then if we come here and the statement is false, um, the condition I mean, if this condition is false, it comes to the else statement and looks at the body of this else statement. In this case, it will check this. If this is true and we truly have rooibos, it will say, print out, it will print out, let us drink some rooibos uh, tea. Else, if the condition is false, it will print out, rooibos is finished. So that is basically um how the nested loop works um nested if statement i mean that is how it works so if we print this uh if we uh, run this code so basically hot is true and um ice cubes we have ice cubes is false so basically this is false so it needs to print out there is no ice cubes yes so then again i will compile to see if there's any any errors and there is none so then i'll press f5 to run the code and yes uh, let's just wait for the charts to open there we go okay and yes you see there is no ice cubes you can play around with this basically over and over again if we make um, ice cubes true if we make it true and compile there's no errors uh, compile there's no errors and we run it again let us drink some tequila yes <laughs> and then if we get back there and make hot fox And in this case, since hot is false, it will jump this and come down to the else statement. And then since rooibos, since we have rooibos is true, it should tell us, let us drink some rooibos tea. Again, let me stop the debugging and then F7 to compile and then F5 to run the code. And there you, ha there you have it. Let us drink some rooibos tea. So yes, guys, basically that is how it works. We can have even many more if statements within this here. We can have many more, as many if statements as we want. But yes, as long as, long as you understand how the nested if statement works and, and all that, you will be able to actually um, do a lot of things with the nested ifs and all that. So yes, guys, thank you very much. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel.